That's pretty sick. But my question is, is it sick of the week? Sick of the week. It's time for the sick of the week. Sometimes the sick of the week is about a major headline. Sometimes it's about a silly little study. Um, and sometimes it's an opportunity for me to get on my soapbox and yell at the clouds. And that's exactly what we're going to do today because today we're talking about toxic mold. Toxic mold is a lot like parasites in the sense that it has become this catch-all diagnosis for a number of vague symptoms that you don't necessarily do any diagnostic work on before someone claims they have it, but there are absolutely things that people will sell you to treat it. Do molds exist that make people sick? Yes. Are those molds making you critically ill? Probably not. Molds are part of the fungus kingdom. They love to grow in moist spaces. Um, they can be found in buildings where there is a leak that allows for the accumulation of moisture. Having mold in your house isn't good for you. It can exacerbate asthma. It can cause irritation. It can exacerbate asthma and cause irritation. And at high enough levels, it can cause hypersensitive pneumonitis, which is uh, inflammation of the lungs without infection. Some examples include cheese washer's lung, compost lung, farmer's lung, humidifier lung, Japanese summer house AP, malt worker's lung, sauna worker's lung, sequoiaosis, wine grower's lung, and woodworker's lung. You'll notice that a lot of these are occupationally based. Casual contact with mold has not been associated with long-term disease. There are increasing claims that toxic mold is causing autoimmune diseases, but there is just not evidence to support that. There are a lot of different kinds of autoimmune diseases. Some have genetic basis and some have environmental basis, but none actually have evidence to suggest that they are caused by mold exposure. It makes sense that mold would be the new focus of medical maladies. Chronic illnesses with no known source can be incredibly frustrating, not only because it makes it difficult to treat, but also because of the why me aspect of getting a chronic illness. There is comfort to be found in having a reason. And there are certainly fungal infections that are extremely dangerous to health, but that doesn't mean that those funguses are growing in your home or just because something can produce a toxin, it doesn't mean that it is producing that toxin or that all toxins produced by fungus are bad. Fungal toxins that work against bacteria are known as antibiotics. So absolutely clean your house of mold and make efforts to be sure you are living in a dry and clean environment. But the idea that mold is a pervasive issue causing a wave of chronic diseases does not have the evidence to support those claims. So the sick of the week is going to mold for being the bane of homeowner inspections, the fighter of bacterial infections, and the essential piece of Michael Keaton's makeup in Beetlejuice. Mold has range. <laughs>